those of you who are re regular visitors to our website have seen a lot of videos we've posted of Kim working with her uh, her foal um, tempo and her older gelding Shoki. We've been receiving a lot of emails recently from um, people who don't like clicker training and the emails have been frankly quite hostile and rude and usually of the or on the order of all you're doing is treating your horse um, one of the things Kim and I have been trying to do by posting the videos of Tempo and Shoki um, is to show how you train a horse using the clicker um, and when you're training a horse using a clicker uh, you click a lot and you treat a lot but once you've got a trained horse like my mare Puck you don't treat that often you can see I'm wearing a bag of treats just to show that's just a rewarder for standing there and what I want to do this morning is show how finished behavior, I don't want to call them finished behaviors because no behavior is ever finished but more trained behaviors look and so I'm going to do a couple of things with her I'm going to show you how she ground ties and ground tying in and of itself is not unusual because you can train just about any horse using any method to ground tie but what I'm going to do is show you how she'll ground tie in motion. So even if Puck is moving, she'll still ground tie. That's at the walk, and I'll do it at the trot. And I still haven't treated her. Here we go. And I'll even do it on a circle. Try. And what I'm going to do is show you how, how well she understands this. So the first thing I'm going to do is just drop the rope. And she's going to keep on circling me. That's a girl. Now, this time, try. I'm going to ground tire while she's circling. That's a girl. And give her a treat for that. Here we go. That's a girl. So she got one treat for several behaviors. Now ground tying is a form of target, and this is just to show you that she's not afraid of ropes, so that's not why she's stopping. Um, ground tying is a form of targeting, so she's actually targeting the rope because she's been taught to stop and stand at a coiled rope. And what I'm going to do now is show you a little more advanced level of targeting. I've taught Puck to target my hand in two ways. One is if I hold out an extended hand, she's to put her nose in my hand. But the other form of targeting, that's a form of recall, that's the teacher to come to me using a hand signal, is if I hold my hand out flat like this, she'll put her neck on my hand and it doesn't matter what direction I move in, she's going to work to keep her hand, keep my hand on her neck. Okay, so I've, now I've mounted up on Puck bareback, and as you can see, she's still got the lead rope and the halter attached, so I can do um, one rein riding with her. That's a girl. Or, that's a girl. I can do just just bridleless riding. And again, um, I could click her every, you know, 10 steps if I wanted to. And 
and the click stops whatever behavior she's doing at that moment. So that's how we work from, there you go. I actually accidentally gave her the cue to stand in a pose. That's why she did that. Let's see if I can get her to pose for you. Here we go, nice girl. And so that's what more advanced level um, clicker training with a horse looks like, where you might just click, um, you know, every four or five minutes or not at all. So let's go, sweet.